113 year 2016. We have the S&P 500 daily chart right here. Um, we had called for a massive move down on the S&P before we started January. And we have that posted on the stock market funding site. Um, these bottoms here are going to be broke. And yes, markets are short term oversold. But once they reach this oversold uh, area, anything that bounces off that support level back up into that resistance level, the trade is it rolls right over again. So we'll be buying put options using our turbo option trading.com. And on the daily chart where we have, uh, we're going to approach the retail value of a retail hedge fund manager or traders. It doesn't matter. Everyone has got a, a personality that goes along with it year to date. When I said that we were going down, people thought I was joking and I'm not joking. If you go to stockmarketfunding.com, Dow Jones weekly chart, 30% correction coming. Does it happen all in one day or one month? No, it doesn't. But it is bookmarked on 1-5 of calendar 216 on this very day of 1-13-2016. This is done before the fact. If you want to come out of the misery trades that you're in and how things are going to go down and why is it going to happen is that there were two black mondays august 24th being one and we had come out and we had talked about um that four to six movement our 4.6 four weeks to six weeks is is that in in august we were going down and um, one of the things that we talk about here, um, we talk about S&P 500. It's right here. Follow me. Click on it down here. And there is a video just like you're listening to this one. This was on 11-8 of 2015. Um, we were approaching a six-week resistance at that, at that period in time. And we had a great top that was being put in. And the reversals had already started. These were attempted rallies to where we are now. So basically, when we go back over here, we would like for you to go to a 60-minute chart. Now, this is called TurboOptionTrading.com. This was done on 12-3 in December. There was a 500 index put option weekly. Put option 60 minute weekly 60 minute also 60 minute charts that people don't, don't ever see on calls or puts but that paid forty thousand dollars in two days and we were getting in at around um eleven dollars or so but it made the top end and that was where we started in calendar 200 in december 215 and it started here now one of the things that we're going to be very blunt about is that before there is a market change and increased volatility is that it didn't start in January. No, it didn't. It started over here. And I'll just show you here and I'll use a retail chart to show you what you're used to seeing. And it really started in this area. It started and we did finally make it when we crossed over right through here, right there. And not only that, if you wanted to go from this point here, you would see here that there's an actual cross over that goes right here. And it's perfectly right on the edge of that daily bar. And it comes right through where it rallied. It got back on the other side. And over here is where these counter rallies have taken place. But when we really take a look at these, um, the distances that 1867 and that area 
is a support area, which we're going to trade down into a double bottom, which will now be called a triple bottom and at an oversold level. Now, when you trade an oversold level, you buy something to make a market in and then you sell it at resistance because it's very weak. It will roll over again. This is the S&P 500 and it's a daily level. What I am going to do is I'm going to bring one over here now that we've started the new year. And this is on the S&P 500 right here. And you can clearly see here where, why were we always talking about a S&P reversal was because in calendar 2015, you could never break up above there. So every time you bought your put options, you made a good deal of money. This was an extremely good month right here. This is the counter trend. This is a monthly level low. We're right back down here where this was in our calendar 2015 as it was and that is part of volatility so for the volatility people that watch this uh, video you can sign up for our volatility course uh, in options and equities here is the thing up here at the top this is where we were very aggressive because this was that counter monthly rally but the minute that we started this monthly sell-off which went from here, from the highs there. Let's see what the highs were. That was 2104. 2,104 points on the S&P 500. What the big down move. That blue line for all of you uh, chart watchers, that's called a 10-month moving average. And the red line for you chart watchers, welcome to the retail side of the market, is that when we come over here, and we take a look is that mathematically we have that big reversal this was the volatility but net net one two three four five months and there's the big cannon and this market is not oversold yet as it could go and the 10 month crosses over for the uh, monthly moving averages which are quite significant and you can see here oops i'm sorry let's go back there how about that and let's go ahead and let me get this out of the way now this is what i'm trying to get in here for you here's the blue line that is a 10 month moving average for you chart freaks the red line is a 20 month moving average for for the people who use them, uh, we don't. We look at what you make your decisions on, and that's what we're doing here. So the 20 months moving average is at 2026. The um, 10 months moving average where we're breaking down below it is 2034 on the S&P what? 500. Now, what I am going to be doing is these were put options turbo option trading.com is coming and for all of you chart watchers or people looking at videos that is going to be a wonderful site and it's really going to have a lot of key areas in that site where you will be able to feel peaceful and comfortable with the markets and that's what we're here to do is protect people from volatility but volatility as i said it's here to stay these were the put options that were on the s p and i'm going to show you the following just give me one minute good afternoon what i mean is good afternoon for the other people on the other side of the world good night to everyone here at 8 43 p.m calendar 113 2016 i have part number two and part number one was already up on the screen about how markets are going to be extremely volatile. We have all our prior analysis in there. And we are going to show people that, yes, we have tanked. It's been the worst. Listen, and I always told people this on the website. For any of you people that have been around for a long time. I've always told you to be watching out at various different times for volatility, and I've been right 100% of the time. 
and we have the 2080 entry and the 2045 puts right here. Yes. Now, we're going to show you what you don't know, and we're going to show you what you would like to be part of. When we took this date on 12-2-2015, we were buying put options then on the S&P for a longer-term trade, and we did. This date right here is 12 9 of 2015. Now, let us go to the um, some of the put options that we're going to show you. And what we're going to do is we're going to start out at the 1980. This is called a put chart. None of you have ever seen one. You haven't seen one. This is the put chart. And our entries were down here. So, this is the 1,980 put on the S&P, and it's the first monthly expiration of 216. And when these were down here, we knew the markets were going to go down, period. The low of that contract was $10 right here. So, if you had 10 contracts, that would be $10,000, and they went up here to the high today to $90. So now that 10,000 is worth 90,000. Um, and this was a 1980 put on the S&P 500 is exactly where we were shorting this thing back up here below that 2100 area. And you can see straight down. Now, we're also going to show another put contract, which at the time was a 1960 S&P 500. You want to talk about making money, man? These are $7 a contract. I'm sorry. They're $70. Do you know how much money that is? We know how much it is. And we had very little risk. So let's say at the time that this was $100 out of the money. And it was. And it is a January 2000 monthly 2016. So these were viable continuously this was the lows over here and this was on the 5th of january right here at seven dollars and 40 cents a contract and they had moves up and you know we do teach people you can sell them buy them back in but this is a high right here seventy dollars that right there is a 1960 put on the s p now the S&P hit 1890 on the close today. So we're going to show you where this particular put option right here. This was 1930 put option on the S&P. $3.80 to 4280. That's making a lot of money. Let's say you had 20 contracts. And you just made, um, let's just say $30. Do the math. It's $90,000 plus trade, man, with very little risk. And also by understanding that the S&P 500 index that you see going straight down, and that was exactly what we called for. And we do have the analysis done. We do have the put options right here. You can't deny it. So when you want to get real, in the option market, we're market makers in the option market, but we have a turbo option trading platform that will power you into these kind of trades. And you need to pay attention to what our analysis is. No one out here on the street is this right on. We were the only one that was telling people that this market was going to tank in January. And it's the worst January in United States history as of this date of 1-13-2016. Yes, and it's very exciting when showing people um, and showing our other guys, you know. Um, this is how you make money in index options, S&P 500. Um, I'm going to conclude that strike price, and I'm going to give one more. And I'm going to give you one that you're really going to like. And here it is. Why is it that this premium here, check it out. Now, we're going to put it here. 
This is a $1,900 premium. You want to know what they were? And you got to realize when I'm giving, look at, this is a 1900. This is a put chart. This is not a stock chart. You've never seen any chart when you trade options at all. You just buy them and God knows why. What are you looking at? You don't have these tools and I know it and you know it. And we're going to talk about risk. Why was it that I could take, I knew that the market was going down. So why couldn't I buy 10 contracts for 1.80, which is $1,800 investment? I already knew from that drop down and I knew on the 5th of January, 2016, that we said we're going to go, what? Down big. The contracts are now, here's the high. The high is $22. But it only costs you a very small dollar increment value for you to participate in the S&P 500 index. And it's gone straight down. And the put options that I'm showing in this video, you got part one, and I'll just throw one more in there too. And I'm gonna let people see it. It's a put option, monthly put option for February. Now, one thing about these, because of the time value, um, these are a great trade if you knew where the S&P was going to go, S&P 500 index. Now they're up here at $57. Well, in the short term, with the earnings season, markets can't just keep going straight down forever. They're going to go a lot lower than what we said here. Yes, they are. And you better live up to uh, protecting yourself. You're getting a free opportunity. And when I say something's going to happen, it's going to happen. And the track record and the track history is all right here. Um, if you ever want to know about anything, go to the search box, type in S&P uh, 500 and hit go. And here's what will happen. It'll make your experience really nice. Here, we called for a 30% correction starting here in 2016 going into 2017 these are the trades that you can go look at the 2080 put options right here you can watch that video and i and, and you want to watch about forty thousand dollars made in two days on the s p you go right here and just click on that you want to talk about a six week resistance level that we started buying puts on the freaking s p it's right here right now you want to know what rising to major resistance level it's here it's here bull and bear fighting it out in september and i said the bear was in control and we still have a control issue so that you know when to buy put options or call options on the s p you know how to work the search box and we have a lot of stock trades that we're doing and we're powering everything with our uh, turbo option trading uh, dot com and whatnot and this is a major major sell-off no one has seen like that right there and there's going to be more you will get rallies off the short-term bottoms but then they're going to roll over before they make their next lower low going through the rest of the calendar year of 216. 